this uh, in this letter. Okay, you guys. I came across this YouTuber today. This is for fair use. This is for educational purposes only. This is not for attending to bully anybody. This is just to show that the the evidence that came out um this morning, early this morning or late last night about um Jennifer Hu who um has said that she lied about the the incident that happened she wants to recant her statement and then they also show where it was a guy that said that he was going to assault her physically assault her and so they're trying to put this narrative out that um the reason that she came out with that statement because she was bullied okay when she was talking we didn't see her like being nervously speaking we see her candidly speaking freely and openly to a guy that she normally talked to is one of her friends that the man is called black so they want to push narrative out again now that said oh the only reason why she um said that statement because she was being bullied and harassed to make that statement no 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 hell i know you fucking lie no she was not nervously when she said that statement and then on top of that we do not know when that recording was recorded but on top of everything what we do know she didn't make that statement under Stress with nobody holding anything um on her in her on her head to make her say those things. So, like I said, I came across this this blog today, just now, and I said let me let me jump on this live and record this. So this is recorded um this is recorded live on this on this man um on his part, but let's push out the narrative that Nicki Minaj had her goons to pressure Jennifer once again to make this statement so Nicki Minaj and Kenny Petty can be innocent that's what they're saying y'all they still want to push that narrative that that Kenny Petty is still guilty he's still guilty that's what they want to say but she said she didn't write no letter remember she said that I didn't, got, I didn't write no letter and then she came out and said, I wrote a letter. Which one is it, girl? Did you or did you not write a freaking letter? She wrote the letter, but it was sealed. That's how come we couldn't pull that letter because it was sealed. We still haven't seen the letter yet. But let's listen to the hate that they still got for Nicki Minaj. Uh, existed. Because yeah, Jennifer told Black that she wrote a letter to the Of course she did. She would have told him anything he needed to hear at this point. But she never said, this never happened. I bet you we can't present that. She never, she not once told Black or anybody for that matter that this never happened. Which is why you guys can't pull up that receipt, that video, that text, or none of that. Because it don't, it don't exist. It just don't. Post. We're gonna do a couple of mass posts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna unprivate my uh Twitter again so y'all can be able to uh retweet the shit that I post. Cause they think I'm gonna stay private forever, baby. Yeah, they took my Twitter down, but I got it back up as God. No play by me. I'm highly feeling highly blessed today.
Okay, Jennifer Hill, she did say that. She did say that he was trying to bribe her and threaten her. Okay, that was months and months and months and months and months ago. So, if that's the case, how come she's talking back with him? She's back talking to him on the phone. This girl is just such a fucking liar. She's back on the phone talking to him. FaceTime. She's comfortable. She's out there playing with her hair. She's laying down. She keep rubbing with her hair, playing with her hair, talking, licking her lips. Just keep playing with her hair. Let it flow in the wind. So she wants to say this man keep threatening her or bullying her and, and some other bullshit. Why is she back on the phone with this man FaceTime? And the other motherfuckers try to say that Jennifer was lying. That ain't nobody named Black on Nikki O'Kenna's behalf trying to contact her. Remember this shit? They said she was lying. Don't make me pull this shit up, man. I got cause listen. I don't give a fuck how many videos y'all deleted. Yeah, black free hog, Pumba looking ass. Ugly ass. Ugly ass girl. Uh, so, <laughs> Puma, you gonna get yours next, too. I see you talking that hot shit today. I saw you talking that hot shit. What up, Majestic? I ain't, I ain't finished with you, Puma. You need to leave Jennifer the fuck alone. You calling her bit, all types of bitches and shit. You think shit is sweet? I keep telling you. You better, I, listen, you better hope you don't get double lawsuit. A double whammy. You better hope it. You better hope Jennifer don't sue that ass, baby. Sue that ass, baby. <laughs> what up, Toria Williams? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we getting into some shit today. So, motherfucking black thought Jennifer, he was like, what'd you tell them? What'd you tell them in the letter? Jennifer's pretty much like, yeah, I'll just say exactly what I'm telling you, that this shit happened or whatever. But black came to her with a pre-type, with a new letter that was pre-type. I think even Aja and her lawyers and shit. And wanted Jennifer to sign that letter. Why the fuck you ain't put that out in a video called Black that you did with Jennifer? Why the fuck you ain't showing these people that you was telling her on this video call and through text messages that you had a lawyer for her? And you was harassing the fuck out of her even when she was ignoring you through them texts. You kept texting her and calling her to tell her, please take this lawyer. Take this motherfucking lawyer. Yeah, hey man, listen. Let me go ahead and post some receipts. Because, you know, we talk with receipts over here. We talk with receipts over here. Let me go ahead and post these receipts. Hold on a second. Yeah, because these motherfuckers want to play about Jennifer, man. It ain't happening, Nicki Minaj. Nice try. Nice try, Nicki. I know you behind this shit, Nicki. I know you behind Black's posting and all that shit, because why Black post a five-second video clip of that same video a couple of months ago, and then Tasha K got her hands on it. She posted it on her uh, social media. Five seconds. Talking about, we got the rest. Oh, we got the rest. Hey, Rhinos. Drunk ass. Tasha, trashy fucking K drunk ass posted a five second part of that video a couple of months ago, probably like four or five months, uh, months ago. Talking about we got the rest. And here we go, five months later, whatever uh, amount of time it was, we get the rest and it's trash. It's trash. It has no context. It's chopped and screwed. Edited. Alright? So. Why did it take y'all so long to put the rest out? And why have y'all submitted this video to the courts? It's the fucking question. Why, why, why? Questions that you can never answer, Nikki. And Kenneth, let's not even get started with you. You definitely can't answer shit because you admitted to aggressively raping Jennifer and pled guilty. 
Hold on, hold the fuck on. You were motherfucking lie. It was not the R word. It was sexually assault, nigga. So what the fuck are you talking about? It was not. It was not. It was not the R word. It was not the R word. It was sexually assault. So what the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Attempted rape. Shit. Initially, rape. Now you get your motherfucking ass on here, lying. You are lying on this black man. You are lying on this black man. That was not the R word. He didn't get charged for that. He got charged for a sexually assault. So you was not about to put that lie on that black man from another black man. You motherfucking lying. The only black guilty because you took the pleading. He ended up coming all the way to Jennifer's crib. Now remember, you gotta keep in mind. Look how fucking blurry uh, this shit is. Why your shit so blurry, dog? At this point, you can't even see this shit. Like, just, you know, tell these people what they want to hear. Like, Damn, you know, your shit is so fucking blurry. Even the way I turn it's still blurry. Damn, dog. Why your shit so blurry? They were advising Jennifer, like, yo, just. <laughs> Silly ass. Yeah. Get them off your back. We can't even see that shit. It's so blurry. Her innocence. They're trying to entice her to reconnect. We can't even see that blurry ass shit. What gets me is that he celebrated. And that's what gets me. They made history. Um. Yeah, I keep talking. I forgot what else I was gonna say. Yeah, because you're lying. Because well, no, you're no, lying. No, basically, just getting into the whole thing. Like he had weapons charges. He ended up murdering somebody years later, and then he ended up getting a plea deal. So it's like. He what the fuck do that got to do with the Jennifer Hill and Kenneth Petty case? What the fuck do they have to do with anything? He's a career criminal all around. Yeah. And then everybody tries to church him up. Like, people that don't even know him, they're just fans of Nicky. They just want to basically be on their whole freaking support. What also gets me is that <laughs> Nikki. All she does is shit like little snippets, and then Ooh, she yeah. showed Drake's mother. I mean, doesn't his mother not even like you? And plus, why do you think Bree and um, Drake are staying away from you because of the obvious reasons? Like, Drake's mother doesn't even like her. Are you talking about Rihanna? Uh, well, Rihanna's staying away from her too because she doesn't like Kenny or Zoo, as you may call him. And uh, so is Drake. I mean, she's lucky she got up on that stage, if anything. And plus, she was taking a. Y'all are using what a fake assistant said. And now you guys want to regurgitate? All that was a lie. The lady even came out and said that that was someone stole her photo. And posted all those lies. And if, if Rihanna didn't want to be around um, Kenneth Petty, why were we seeing them taking multiple pictures together? So, girl, what the fuck are you talking? What the fuck are you talking about? Video with Drake's mother. I mean, doesn't she not even like you? I mean, I don't know so much about that. I mean, one of the things I remember, I think it was a couple months ago, they ended up having a video. Or a clip on her Instagram where she's hanging out with Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and everybody's all in the same living room, sitting on the same couch. Yeah. And, so yeah. I don't know. and so it's basically a publicity stunt going on right there. So I mean, I can't speak for Rihanna. I don't know her personally. I don't know Nicki Minaj personally. But with mm-hmm. all the stuff that happened and everything too, especially like how she's known, just kind of start bullying okay. people and stealing their hip hop style and everything too. Or do I just say is is. It's, it's, it's kitty bullshit. It shouldn't even... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot of fuckery. It's like, if you're going to base your whole career... But it's Nikki, uh, so, I mean... <laughs> no, I know he's, it's just Nikki, but I'm just saying, to me, it's like, if like I DJ and everything like that, but I don't go for right. it. Turn around. I, I, I mean, I'm not well-known, just privately. I do a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I do, like, events. I'm not big like DJ Khaled and all this other stuff, and I am really opinionated on a lot of stuff. She has a stupid B-I-T, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, definitely, she showed it out. I mean, and, and on top of that, it's like people are like, oh, she's a humanitarian. She cares about black lives, and she ended up. Yeah, fighting. I mean, I know that's what she's doing it for, but no, she's not doing it for black lives because she ended up performing no. over in Angola in 2015. Around the right. same time, her brother got arrested for a rape charge, molesting his stepdaughter. And then, yeah. that, and, and that basically called, got called out by Remy Ma when she was doing the whole she did track. Yeah. And that, that fucking ate her up. She was <laughs> done for. And she didn't come back with a response. And then she ended up doing the No Fraud song and had to have Drake and Lil Wayne on. And it's like, if you're going to be a hip hop artist and you're going to battle, you come with your own words. You don't come with anybody but yourself. How long is this? And she oh, never had too that long. skill set. But beyond kind of the music me stuff, off. I mean, it, it's. Been, Y'all, y'all, y'all sad. Y'all sad. And I'm not going to let this play too long. I'm just going to do a replay, a replay back on it to see if it picked up the whole thing all the way through. And some of the words that you guys are going to hear are very um, triggering to people. So if you guys are triggered by anything that they say, my apologies. I don't mean to trigger anyone because um, as a survivor of being sexually assaulted, I'm a survivor. I was never a victim. Hey, it pisses me off too, but I just think it's just it's so damn ridiculous just with the fact that it's like, all right, you're shaming a victim of your husband that, <laughs> oh, that yeah. violated, and, and, and on top of that, like, you basically pay for the guy. She paid for her brother, but everybody's yeah. like, no, it was her mother that paid for him. And it's like, well, it, 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 yeah, so it's like she spent a hundred thousand dollars and, and used her two homes in Baldwin Hills, New York in 2015. Right. for a dictator for two million dollars for a country that's basically being oppressed by the guy they ended up basically manipulating him slave labor whatever the hell else they get into i mean i'm not a hundred percent on it because i don't follow angle all the time but just it's a little bit that they have and you have and people that are it's so cheesy yeah and, and and you get people that are deeper with the whole entire thing really? basically like all right you don't perform for this guy because he's known for humanitarian abuse and, and it seems like nikki just wants to go either for publicity to go with people that are sex offenders rapists and all this other stuff and just sort of happened the fact that some of them were tied into music kenneth petty it's like was sucking farts out of her ass and i'm tired of it everybody just wants to buy into it because they want their two minutes oh, of fame God, because, so they, because if they it. figure they start sucking her off or kissing her ass that they're gonna get a freaking big bag from her i or know oh god i'm so tired of it oh but anyway that's all like i was saying they should have been arrested for the whole entire thing Feel like a broke record, Jed shouldn't even have to go through all this stuff. And I, and honestly, I hope she sues the blogs yeah. and I'm putting up that bullshit too, especially with, like all the oh, yes, yes. and all the different clips. I mean, there's no uh, it, like they're gonna say it's like me turning around and saying, Oh, I took a clip of a video because I videoed it on my phone and I got the heat. You don't have fucking heat if you have heat and there's something within that thing, like. Like, I, I was hearing from the Hot Shot Radio and everything. Like, post the whole entire thing. Don't be fucking teasing it. And I agree with him only on that part. I absolutely 100% agree with him on that part. You're posting a clip of Jennifer and Jennifer saying that um she re- she had recant she wanted to recant her ca- um her statement and she wrote a letter to the DA and they um wrote her off and all other kind of stuff. It was too late. So, post the whole conversation of you guys talking. Don't just post half of it so we can get a clear conversation of what you guys have discussed. I know the part that you played was detailing and telling all of what really is like the the icing on the cake. But post the whole thing so we can know what happened before she said this and what happened after she said this. Somebody's innocent and it's legitimate, post it up. If they're right. not innocent, then obviously fucking don't say nothing. You, you just uh-huh. make it. I was having a good fucking day until I came across y'all motherfuckers. Bribes, you're try to bribe somebody. And you're basically right. a whole lot of other stuff and threatening. And, and one of the other things I ended up posting up, it's probably the last thing I'm going to spend. But uh, with the Nicki Minaj, I, I'm trying to find a video that they ended up having posted up because you actually see it, a GIF. If you look up Nicki Minaj, Gun, Kenneth Petty. There's a video, it looks like a pink background and everything going on. She actually has the same pistol that he had in his pocket. Not from the Instagram clip, but just, like, basically from a different... I'm not surprised. So it's like, all right, well, she got arrested years ago for, like, I I don't know what the hell it was, beating somebody up, and she used to work at a Red Lobster and lost her job and everything. And and then again, her claim to fame is basically just kind of, like, riding different rappers to get everything going. 
and I didn't even realize that she was in a group called the Hood Stars, and that was in uh, 2006, and they and they had their barely a little bit of shine that happened, and she blew up here. Mm-hmm. That's that. And, and Hood Stars supposedly was on uh, WWF, the, like the wrestling, and supposedly that's where she got her whole entire, not her whole entire career, but just a, a small portion to kind of get herself out there for more. Because obviously, nobody becomes a star overnight. It takes time to do shit. But in general, it was just a lot of fucking climbing and riding in the back seat to fucking get going. It's oh, and Nikki, if you think we don't know that you write your own lyrics yourself, she probably does, because they're trash. Ooh, child. I mean, I don't, I, I'm going to give her that much credit. It just seems like it's horse shit, just all reverberating. Right? Yeah, I all, know. <laughs> well, we don't have anything of content to say, so we're just going to speak on the same shit over and over. Yeah. And just a different beat. Mm-hmm. We're tired of hearing about her lyrics, about her riding dick. Like, okay, girl, we... We get it. And stop with your little alter egos and your Roman remix. Like, please, enough. Enough. All right, but anyway, I, I just want to say shout out please. to the Hot Shot. Thank you for having me on there, man. And, and honestly, I hope Jed actually gets through this stuff. I don't. I, I don't. Thank you, thank I, I, you. Yeah, so that's the biggest thing. I, I, and, uh, like I said, I'm out here pulling my hair out. out my hair, we a bald head ho. get in there. And if there's any way possible, I hope they actually have like a way to take the clips. The ones I ended up trying to post earlier. Like, I, I hope her lawyer can actually use that as well as evidence. Please give everybody your social media and let them know where they can follow you. Yeah, I, I mean, right now I lost so many different accounts. I I speak on it. It's not even funny. But on my Instagram, I am under Fixer Event Bookings. Because originally it was uh, the Fixer official, but you, you can follow me, not follow me. I don't care one way or the other. I try not to be like a shameless uh, camera whore all the time. <laughs> trying to survive the official, uh, hey, no official. Put in the description. Thank you for having me on here. Chit chat with, uh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Howell. Hey. Joe, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with chit chat. What do you got to say? Hey, hot oh, shot. Wow. I am so honored to be on your show, finally. I just want to say, you. um, you're welcome. I've seen, um, uh, I've seen, and I hope it's okay to say you let me know if it's not because I want to respect your community guidelines. Nosy Hoes live today. Okay. Okay. And I was looking at her live and the guy, Corey, I think is his name, who right. says that he was Kenneth Petty's friend. Former best friend, yeah, correct. Former best friend, thank you. And that he had helped to harass Jennifer. Jennifer. And he had, yes, and he had helped to harass her to oh. try and get her to recant her statement. What the fuck did I do with Nicki Minaj? And you guys are so ugly. That was gets me. They want to sit around and selective watch selective YouTubers. Oh, let me click off of this one because they're not going with the narrative. But I'm going to click on this one because they're helping with the narrative. The man's former best friend came out, and from my understanding, this was not his first time saying it on her show live. This was his second time saying it today. And that Tasha K, uh, what is this lady named, Karen Silva, and all of them had got her show taken down shortly after he came on and said that he had... Now, they got nosy hope like turned um, off because she was harassing a lot of different YouTubers and then she, what really got her fucking um, Nosey Hope live taken down is because of the thing she came after Monica not because of Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj it was because she she doxed uh, Monica uh, from All About the Tea she doxed she, well she tried to dox her she wound up doxing some other high powered lady that's in a news sector that's um on television that's a newscaster or whatever an anchor that what got Nosey Hope life taken down because she doxed the wrong fucking person she didn't dox monica from all about the tea she doxed another lady and lady is in a high powered situation with her career that would got nosy hope live taking the fuck down not Nicki minaj helped kenneth and those schools harassed this lady to try and get her to recant her statement I don't know why the bars have selective memory, have selective understanding. And then here's another thing, because I know that they sitting in the bushes watching. I know that they click on it. Nah, babe, we ain't ain't sitting in the bushes. I I know y'all watching. No, bitch, we're not sitting up here in the bushes, bitch. I'm sitting right here on my motherfucking um queen size bed and my luxury bed, um, watching this. I'm not in the bushes, honey. I'm sitting right here in my bed, um, watching the bullshit. I just went out and made groceries. <laughs> And um, got me some drink, some um, 
V8 juice splash. The um, fruit punch kind? Yes, because I don't drink anymore. So, yeah, um, I was having a good one for that. I turned on, I was watching um, Fatal Attraction, and I jumped on to social media, and it's the first thing popped up. I never came across this guy before, not at all. So, it came across my feed because look at, look at Gort. Look at Gort. He wanted me to see this. He wanted me to see this, and then he wanted me to share, share. He wanted me to, to share, share this with the barbs. Y'all think that Will Smith, a acclimated, real, 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 I'm talking about really real actor. So what are fake actors, actors, bitch? And slap somebody and get banned. And he got more money than Nicky could ever dream of. Now, y'all claim to be so smart. The same <laughs> The Oscars are the same masses and powers that be that owns the Grammys. They all sit at the same dinner table. If y- y'all are so worried about Cardi B's success, and y'all are so busy trying to uh, save Nikki's image and make it seem like this was the downfall of Nikki's image. Now, let me tell you what the downfall of Nikki's image was. When she came for the real little Kim the Queen B. And she still has refused to settle the score and come out and publicly apologize to this woman. And publicly let her barbs know, y'all are B barbs, baby. Y'all are, y'all are B barbs, meaning B hive, y'all are B barbs, too. Y'all are not barbs. And if you are barbs, you're part of the B hive. The only black barbie dress in the garbage, the uh, black barbie and red lipstick. Where so they body queen. The one and only. And she's so desperate to try to be a little Kim. Because see, look, Kim really is about that motherfucking life. Right. He's so desperate to really try to get that. See, not only is she respected among the masses and the pals that be, that bitch can pull up in any street in Brooklyn, man, wherever. Wherever. She, she can pull up. She can pull up. She, she can do that. And then she can go to Fashion Week and walk next to Mark Jenkins. Back to my- Only reason that little Kim can walk through the streets and all that kind of shit because don't nobody know who the fuck she is. They thinking she's some white. I don't know. They don't know who the fuck she is when she walking down the street. She don't know who the fuck she is. No disrespect to little Kim. I like her. I love her. I like her. Love her. Like her. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, only reason why she can walk through the goddamn streets because don't nobody know who the fuck she is anymore. Cartoon, if you take his life down after I um, cut this off, then it just gonna be off. I don't give a fuck. I just want to come up and upload this for you guys, let you guys see this and hear this bullshit. So, bye, you guys. I'll catch y'all on a. Oh, excuse me. Like I was saying, if I was really interrupted by this dumbass girl, um, I just want to jump on, jump off. I'm gonna sit here and play and see what it go all the way through. Cause sometimes I'll be doing my lives like this, and um, it don't play back it'll play to a certain extent and the, the audio will cut off so i just want to jump in and jump off and um record this for you guys and i hope it played all the way through so i'm gonna go ahead and it right now but if it cut off i'm just gonna have to play from what i jumped and got it from from the beginning and so i don't know if he's going to um upload this or he's going to go through so i hope it goes through on his end and my end as well i was being nosy y'all i was just being fucking nosy and it came on my lap so hey barbs stand the fuck up for Nicki minaj and kenny petty justice for kenny petty justice for Nicki minaj petty <laughs>